Checking out tonight's Health Watch. If you're struggling to lose those last 10 pounds or so, or just overweight in general, it could have something to do with how often you look at the labels on your food. Pretty simple, huh? Or at least that's what a recent study is saying. Watch Fox News reporter Ivory Hecker shows you how to make sense of the sometimes misleading and sometimes confusing information on our food packaging. Grocery shopping. What kind of greens you want? We grab our items, throw them in the cart, and head for checkout, often without checking to see what is contained in the food we're purchasing. These are two common misconceptions that both of these cereals are really healthy. A recent study of data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention showed women who consider food labels when selecting groceries weighed nearly nine pounds less than women who don't read labels. I always look at calories first. Men who read food labels were also lighter than those who did not. I've never paid attention to the food labels. But dietitian Kristen Tice says food labels can often be misleading. There is no regulation surrounding the word natural or really any of the words that food manufacturers will use on their product labels, on the front at least. Uh, and so, you know, food manufacturers will kind of trick you into thinking that their food product is really healthy and really worth the money, when in actuality it's really not. While the promotional wording on the front of the package may be untrustworthy, the nutrition facts label and ingredients list are regulated by law. And if you know what to look for, they can be a quick and easy way to make informed food choices. If you're going to be buying bread, for example, you want to make sure that you're getting 100% whole wheat bread. They always list the ingredients as uh, the most abundant followed by the, the least abundant. The first ingredient, you really want it to be 100% whole wheat. It should be whole grain or whole wheat as the first ingredient. And um, it should not say something like on this one where it says enriched or unbrominated or uh, bleached flour uh, because that is not going to be whole wheat. And you'll understand nutrition facts better if you judge them based on the ingredients list. Just by looking at the grams of sugar is really not the same thing as knowing if it's natural sugar or added sugar. So if you see that there are several grams of sugar in a slice of bread, make sure you're looking at the ingredient list and you're looking for sugar listed here. If there's no sugar in the ingredients list, that means the grams in the nutrition facts are natural and better for you. Finally, to really know what you're serving yourself each day, it helps to do a little math. For only a quarter cup of granola, you're getting 130 calories, plus you're getting uh, three and a half grams of fat. So if you multiply that by four, that's what you're getting out of one cup of cereal, which is a lot of fat and it's a lot of calories. But if you hate doing math and still want to be healthy, fresh fruits and vegetables are the way to go. They're a single ingredient food chock full of vitamins and fiber, low in calories, and there's no food labels in sight. In Columbia, Ivory Hecker, Watch Fox News.